Yo, 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 what is going on guys? I hope you're all super well. I've woken up and there's no milk in the fridge, which means I have to walk down and go get some milk for my breakfast. It's not the most ideal thing to do in the morning, especially when it's absolutely freezing, but I need milk. I need that calcium. And who would want to have dry wheat bix or they call it wheat bix over here. Disgusting. There's always benefits in it though, and what I usually have is a skim milk just because that's what these guys like to have. So this time I treated myself, I guess, because I never get the milk. I got whole milk, which I never have. I, I have in Australia all the time, but I think it's not as good for you or something, but I love it. I love whole milk compared to skim milk. I'm having some sort of thing, I think it's called granola. Uh, berry granola and you get like blueberries and raspberries or something. I don't know It's just a bit of a change from wheat bix, but I love I love granola You would really like this granola mix with berries if you like those berries that are in it as well as like a muesli sort of thing oh, Delicious been a pretty chilled out morning, but now myself dad Ed and his wife Frank and his wife we're all going out for lunch. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah at the dome. The dome is a very nice place. It is. Yes. You get a beautiful and, uh, view. We do, but uh, not that the weather's there. You go. Yeah, the weather is not the best today, as you can see. It's different in England. Usually it doesn't rain. Usually it's really, really sunny and hot. I'm just not used to that. In Australia, usually you're getting the rain. Hey boy. Tippy in the back. How you going, mate? I haven't nice seen you today. Daily dose. Help his joints to move. Good dog, good dog. Not his usual. Come on, tip. Please. Bang, in it goes. <laughs> oh, right. Bang, pork, potatoes, some Yorkshire pudding. Dad got the same. Taking a photo as well, mate. <laughs> we came back from the lunch not too long ago, and the reason we went out for lunch was because it's important to show gratitude. To everybody that helps you along the way. Yep, so we got Frank there and Ed there and their wives and I'd say pretty much all of them had some sort of part in me coming over here and we just wanted to go out for lunch. With yeah, them they've been brilliant. They yeah. didn't have to do anything to help you. They didn't have to. They just did it out of the goodness of their heart because they want to help a guy that's trying to make it. Yeah, and so that it's so important to try and connect with as many people as possible because like my story goes, we never knew that Frank knew Ed who knew someone at Plymouth uh, and all these different clubs. It's just the way that it works. And Frank wasn't into football. No. That's for sure. So Frank's just some guy that I know through business. So it's just, there's a lot of luck there. Yeah, so keeping connections with people, make sure you try to make the most of those because you never know what opportunity might come out of anything. It could be your mum's best friend is friends with the coach of someone's That's team. It. Who knows? But it's also, it's not just about the connections. It's not this selfish thing of going, I'm going to exploit yeah. everybody that I know. <laughs> it's also about karma, about you do good stuff for people. Mm. It's kind of why we took them out to lunch. It's because you do good stuff for people and good stuff comes back. Yeah. That's just karma. Yeah. Universal uh, truth. The uni... What my mentor always speaks about this, he talks about the universe and some of the people that I coach know about this where the universe always sorts things out the way it should be and it's almost like that karma where you do good things, good things will come to you and if it's meant to be for you, it will happen for you. Of course you have to go out and make it happen but the universe will put things in place the way that things should be and it's just crazy how that works, isn't it? It is, but I think it's also related to what we were talking about earlier about how you've got to do things for things to happen. I yep. know you were talking about, your mentor said this last week or so, mm. but if you sit on the lounge and do nothing, what happens? <laughs> nothing. Nothing, mate. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So today has been a rest day for me because I played yesterday, first time in 90 minutes. Now on a rest day, I've just been I've just been relaxing, but I'm going to go home later on. I'll do some stretching and some roller because my hamstrings and quads are a bit tight as well as my glutes. So I want to loosen those up and make sure that I'm getting the best preparation in for the match that I may have on Tuesday. Not haven't I'm supposed to be hearing about that today, but nothing's really come through, so I'm waiting on some stuff there, but we'll see what happens. So this is a hamstring stretch. Dad, you showed me this one. It's, you, you don't have to use a rope, you could use a towel. Towel's good. And you're pulling it towards you, 
and you're almost pushing this out, keeping both legs straight. Yeah, I'm, so straighten the leg. I'm trying. I'm, I'm flexible, all right? Yeah, well, don't, just don't go any further than you can go, but it's important to have this leg straight. Yeah. You're not trying to snap the hamstring. I'm so unflexible. I need to work on that because it's... Well, well, he needs to work on that. He really does. Yeah, well... But the thing is, you've got to do minutes, minutes, minutes. You can't just do it in 30 seconds. Well, what's the benefit of being flexible? So if you have not so tight hamstrings, I guess you reduce the risk of injury? Absolutely. How okay. many footballers do you know that are out with hamstring injuries? Yeah, a lot. But I also think that in terms of athleticism... Mm. I also think that in terms of athleticism... Just the thing about being able to run freely and quickly, yeah. if your hamstrings are too tight, how can you run properly? True. Sure. And right. if I were to play a match today with my tight hamstrings that I'm feeling right now, I wouldn't be able to play at 100%, maybe, like maybe 70. But I'd free up a little bit, so then I'd maybe get to 90, but I'm not that 100% that I need well, to be. Well, I think you do free up as you warm up. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Normally, but the danger period is right in the beginning. Yeah. You see footballers all the time when they go for the sprint really quickly. In the warm-up, yeah, or whatever. The first sprint, minutes, bang, whatever and then gone. They're yeah. gone for weeks and weeks. Okay, I'm working on that. I'm going to show you a really cool trick. I think this has something to do with your hamstrings, but right now, I'm up to about here, right? Would you say that? Yeah. Remember this spot right there. Now, to make yourself taller, spin around, touch your toes. Am I taller? Wait, is that how it goes? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Wait, do you remember this trick I showed you? Oh, vaguely. It's rubbish. Oh man, I can't remember it. <laughs> if you know it, make sure you leave a comment. I think you spin around, touch your toes, stand up, or spin around. Touch the toe. Let me know. I have no idea. Like I said before, I'm not sure what I'm doing this Tuesday, so I'm going to give the guy a call now and see what he has to say. I'm not quite sure yet, so I'll update you after the call. Uh, my dad's over at the moment, and up until Wednesday morning, we've hired a car. So, uh, but he's. Yeah, we've hired a car, but he's actually going to be in London on the Tuesday, uh, up until Tuesday night. So. Yeah. No, just, oh well my dad's mate's mate um, who's 78 years old and I'm staying with him so yeah <laughs> got us a feast mate yeah. chili con carne with salt and pepper squid legend <laughs> see you later mate Goodbye, Sheldon. good luck with they who cannot be named the club that cannot be named we never speak their name <laughs> goodbye enjoy your car trip home See ya. And thanks for dinner, Dad. I know he watches these videos, so thank you. I'm just in here editing, and usually Ed takes Tippy out at night, and I can hear him barking, but... Oh, it's pouring. It is really raining outside. <laughs> One night, it was quite late, and Ed had taken him out. He actually woke up out of bed, took him out, and my bedroom is just around the side, so I can see out the backyard. And I saw Ed standing down there, and Tippy just standing in the middle of the backyard, barking at nothing. I can't believe it. I, 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 he's just standing there barking like, what are you doing? Do something. He's just not barking at anything. He's just barking for the sake of barking. Come on, man. Sitting down with Ed now. We are watching. What is it? This is um, match of the day too. Are you going to fall asleep tonight or no? Oh, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who knows? We, only uh, time we, will tell. It, it's nice and warm and, <laughs> and, and comfortable and I've had a nice day and it's quite lovely. Like yeah. My boy Lacazette, yeah. getting goals. Ed, I'm heading to bed. Yes. <laughs> so am I. Yes, good, good. Yeah. Ed is... What time is it? About 11 o'clock? Half past. Half past. Yeah. Definitely bedtime, so I'm going to head up to bed. What should they do if they enjoyed today's video? Like it! Leave a like. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. See you then. Bye.